Hello, I am Maya Kale from the University of Latvia and I will present my and Ebenezer Agbozo's joint work Tracing Complexity in Food Blogging Entries. And Ebenezer is from Ural Federal University, Russian Federation. And we started our joint work after DHN Summer School in 2019. So thank you, Anna and team. So what our work is about, it focuses on the concept of complexity. And we need this concept of complexity to, as a proxy to hedonism. And we view hedonism as a very important explanator for food and human relations, the positive relations between human and food. And we look at the texts of uh, Twitter tweets. So these are essentially micro uh, food blogging entries on Twitter on how are we talking about food? What kind of words are we using? Uh, and this also uh, has some echoes from the summer school where we learn about topic modeling, about the importance of the company that the words keep and what does it tell it to us. Our work is unique in a sense that it focuses on this positive human and food relationships because mostly in the research we find uh, corrective measures like what should be corrected, uh, how to avoid something, but less the focus has been on what the data uh, tells us about positive aspects in human and food. And of course, the text describing food can be a very good uh, unit of analysis. Why this is important? As Professor Charles Spence writes that uh, from hunter-gatherers, the humans have become super consumers. And what we see in the world, that the lifestyle-induced illnesses such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases are rising. And if we talk about lifestyle, then food choice is an important part of the lifestyle. These are physical exercises, but also the food choice. Meanwhile, choice of food and food consumption is a very complex phenomenon. It's about cultural background, habits, accessibility, loads of different aspects impact our food choice. But the focal point that we will look at is this hedonism, something that makes us enjoy the chosen food and why and how it's expressed in a text. If you look on the formula behind the food choice, there is none. But if we look at the context in broader sense of the digital content, we see that food-related digital content is growing, is growing exponentially. Uh, we have loads of food images. We have multiple beautiful stories about food. There's rise of celebrity chef and there are various food-related movements. And this is all reflected in digital media through text, pictures, and um, uh, likes and evaluations of humans about the food. I already introduced that we need the complexity as a proxy to hedonism, and why so? Uh, we have to understand how to analyze uh, the likability of food. And uh, Professor Charles Spence writes about complexity as an explanatory variable of hedonism. And the notion of complexity itself, as many other researchers have written about, is quite difficult. It's not well defined. Basically, it's defined according to the needs. And we have taken the same approach. We also 
look at the complexity in terms of how can we actually talk about complexity about food. So we can look at the number and variety of ingredients. We can look at preparation time. And we can look at the final result of the consumption experience and joy. Uh, so uh, we have decided to look at this uh, textual representations uh, and conclude something about uh, the level of complexity about particular foods or foods in general. Why is that important? And why we need this complexity? And here is another story about the battle between the healthy and the tasty. So in very simple words, if a food is tasty, it can't be healthy. And if it's healthy, it can't be tasty. There is quite, quite clear dichotomy, and that has been also proven by previous researches, that there is this unhealthy equals tasty intuition. And there are many proofs which show that if you add label like low fat or low sugar on chocolate, that immediately is considered as less tasty. So anything where the healthiness comes into the play means that cognitively we find that food less tasty. And we talk differently about tasty food and we use different words about it when describing healthy food. And the global goal of this research is how can we utilize the data that we have that are increasingly there in the digital content in order to move towards more healthy diets and consequently to higher life quality. And we are playing with the idea that if we start talking differently about healthy food, we can actually improve the notion of tastiness. So we need to talk more complex and more hedonistic. Um, so this is a model of how we have uh, done our research quantitatively. Uh, my video is exactly on the table which says input data from Twitter, the tweets. So the usual steps is uh, initial transformation and cleaning and that eventually leads us to biogram generation and we uh, analyze particularly biograms because um, we found out that biograms are good explanations of uh, how uh, we describe the food. And eventually, it's background visualization that you will just see. And uh, here's the frequency of uh, healthy food <coughs> analysis. And you can see that, uh, uh, and we can see that mostly the results show something like easy to make ready in minutes, uh, seasonal, easy seasonal, and uh, tasty. But if we look at the theory about tasty food, we can see loads of volumes of books and articles which show how we describe tasty food, and it's quite different. We describe it way more essentially and uh, way more rich in our wordings. Uh, we can see certain kind of lifestyle related uh, notions like vegan food, vegetarian, healthy snacks and the rest, but uh, all in all, the results show that healthy food is a specific domain and it's not about enjoying it and having pleasure in consuming it, but it has a very clear direction of health, easy, seasonal, fresh, and not much about 
how great the tasting experience was. So we conclude that this research brings uh, quite interesting results uh, to understanding uh, what lies behind the healthy foods consumption, how the healthy foods are depicted in microblog entries in Twitter. I think we have also offered a valid methodology to work on further by using complexity as a proxy to hedonism, to hedonic food experience. And uh, we think that with this notion of complexity, it can be worked further also with different other domains of food, like tasty food or um, specific food, uh, specific diets, and so on. Word association and biogram analysis provided us the necessary data to draw our conclusions upon. And we could see that healthy food is mostly talked about as functional, easy, not necessarily interesting and complex. So I think these results provide a good baseline for other studies when we want to see how we talk about healthy food or how the healthy food is depicted in the, uh, social media. It also helps us to understand how can we work with food-related texts. And uh, I think that this is, uh, has been an interesting trial. We are working further on uh, looking at particular food depiction and comparing it to our results in this research. So these are the references. I would like to particularly emphasize the work of uh, Robert May, uh, Charles Spence, um, and others on whose knowledge we based our research. Thank you.